my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh, yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there was going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist that had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May, after they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it, that I, I got to be cheating for that? First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top, yard, top charts all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let Tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after that altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when, you know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Ra Lee used to have her number. Jason Lee's phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Ra Lee. How come everybody that y'all have issues with that... Y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, they numbers got leaked. My sister just got into an argument with Riley, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs. You're the common denominator on it. So, you tell me. You fucking tell me. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before we were supposed to do the motorsport video, you turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with bitch you my son go sit on a party, bitch you not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career and I'm nothing like you, so you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person, you not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night, oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right, there's my phone. I'm going to my camera. That I went all the way up, October 22nd, this was your number, I called you twice and you didn't answer. No, show you, show you, show you, it's from the beginning. And I told my label, I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then my thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown-ass woman. Or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in L.A. But no, you waited a whole six months when you dropped the single to talk about it. How convenient is that? Wow. How convenient is fucking that? And then you want to talk about how I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna that everybody knew that I was promoting. So what are you talking about? You're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out in the Latin community for like three, three, four, five months? 
What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and Jeezy got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the no limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and Jeezy, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record and that's fucking fast.